Hello everyone and welcome to the lecture series of Software Engineering. I am Shilpa Jackson, Assistant Professor in the Department of Computer Applications from the Bhopal School of Social Sciences. The topic which we are going to see today is SDLC, that is Software Development Life Cycle. In this video, we are going to see these many topics. SDLC definition, the need of SDLC and the stages of SDLC. Let us start with the definition of SDLC. Software development life cycle is a process used by software industries to design, develop and test high quality softwares. It is a framework that defines the steps involved in the development of software at each phase. The phases of which covers the complete life cycle of a software, that is, from its inception to the retirement of the product. Now let us see what is the need of SDLC. The development team must determine a suitable life cycle model for a particular plan. Without using an exact life cycle model, the development of a software product would not be in a systematic and disciplined manner. For example, suppose a software development issue is divided into various parts and the parts are given to different team members. Now, suppose the team representative is given the freedom to develop the roles assigned to them in whatever way they like. One team member may start designing the product, the other may choose to code the product, while the another may start with testing the product. This will definitely lead to project failure. Hence. When a team is developing a software product, there must be a clear understanding among the team representatives about what and when to do. Otherwise, as I said, it would lead to project failure. This entire process of software development life cycle is divided into seven stages. Requirement analysis, defining the requirements, designing, coding, testing, deployment, and maintenance. Let us see about each stage one by one. The first stage of SDLC is planning and requirement analysis. Before creating a product, a core understanding or knowledge of the product is very essential. It is very important to understand the objective of the product. So here, the business analyst and the project organizers set up a meeting with the client to gather all the data like what the customer wants to build, who will be the end user, what the actual objective of the project is. Once the requirement analysis is done, the next stage is to certainly represent and document the software requirement and get them accepted by the project stakeholders. This is accomplished through a document called SRS, that is Software Requirement Specification. It is a document that contains all the product requirements to be constructed and developed during the project life cycle. The next phase is about bringing down all the knowledge of requirement analysis and design of the software project. This phase is the product of the last two previous stages like input from the customer and requirement gathering. The next stage is developing the project. This is the stage where the actual development begins and here the programming is built. 
The implementation of design begins concerning writing code. Here, the developers have to strictly follow the coding guidelines described by the management and they have to use the programming tools like compilers, interpreters, debuggers, etc., which are used to develop and implement the code. The next stage is testing of the product. After the code is generated, it is tested against the requirements to make sure that the products are solving the needs addressed and gathered during the requirement stage. This stage includes different types of testing like unit testing, integration testing, system testing, acceptance testing and so on. Next stage is deployment of the product. Once the software is certified with no bugs and errors stated, then it is deployed in the client side. Then based on the assessment, the software may be released as it is or with the suggested enhancement given by the client in the object segment. Now, after the software is deployed, then its maintenance begins. The last stage of SDLC is maintenance. Once the client starts using the developed systems, then the real issues come up and the requirements are to be solved from time to time. This procedure where the care is taken of the developed product is known as maintenance. So dear learners, we have now seen all these stages of software development lifecycle. In the next module, we'll be seeing different SDLC models. Thank you.